Hello YouTubers, this is Ronnie Henson from Southwest Oklahoma. Today I'm going to give you some measurements of a 2x42 inch belt center that I built off of watching videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, they did a really good job showing how to build it, uh, but they didn't give any dimensions and it was kind of tough figuring out. So if you decide that you want to build one of these, I'll show you what I built and give you the dimensions of the ones that I've got built right here. I wrote the dimensions on here because it's kind of hard to hold this and show them at the same time. So I'm going to do a close up of them and let you see what they are. We'll start with the base and we'll work our way up. And again, this is a two inch by 42 inch belt sander using a bicycle top pulley. Uh, that's the axle from a bicycle wheel uh, with the spokes cut off. Man, it works really good. Anyhow, starting at the base, if you'll look down here at the base, uh, this is angle iron. All the material that I used on this is quarter inch thick. So the base down there is a three by three angle iron uh, by eight inches long. The uh, power supply is a Chicago Electric four and a half inch disc sander from Harbor Freight. Very inexpensive. The main vertical support that goes up through there is 22 and a half inches long and that's from the bottom of the table to the very top of the uh, support. If you'll look down there uh, at the uh, this part right here, that's the widest part of the support uh, at the bottom, and it's three and a half inches. And right up here, I had to add this piece on here because I had to get the uh, pivot point correctly. And in order to get the pivot point correctly, I needed to extend that back so that I had the proper offset. But that's four inches from here to here. This cutout right here is three quarters of an inch tall by uh, one and three eighths across. The uh, pivot bar right here is a one by five and three quarter inch. The uh, hole from here to here measures two and one quarter inches. The uh, bicycle axle on the inside is two and a half inches. The belt is a two inch. The table down here is five inches tall. Or correction, the, the work table, this part right here is three inches for this way. And it's four and a quarter inches this way. And the support that I've got on there is uh, one and a half inch by four and a half inches. And again, quarter inch thick. And it is welded on the underside right there. And this is also welded and not bolted like you see in the video. It's just easier for me to weld it. The back support plate right here is five inches tall and it's three and three quarter inches wide. The spring that you see on there before it's stretched is five inches. From this hole to this hole is six inches and that puts just the right amount of tension on the pivot in order for it to have proper tracking uh, when the machine is turned on. Works really good. The uh, other side of it looks like this. You can see on the inside there, I just have one slot right here. If you'll see this right here, uh, those are uh, quarter inch bolts. They're uh, quarter inch by 20 threads and I just put one slot in there, but I put two bolts in there. If you want to angle that, you just loosen that up, take one of them out, and you can change the angle on it. Same thing on the bottom here. If you'll look at the uh, main drive gear, I did exactly like he showed. I made it out of wood. Uh, that's two and a half inches from here to here, and it's two and a quarter inches from here to here. The center hole from the center hole to the table is five inches. And that gives you the proper measurement right there. The first hole that I put in there was right here for the spring. It didn't have enough tension. I had to come back and put it right there. That's why it's uh, six inches from here to here. And it puts about an inch of tension on the spring when, the, when it's uh, up and running. I'm going to kick this on and let you see this thing in action.
Now you're probably wondering how do you adjust it. It's very easy to adjust. If you want it to track left or right, you just take this one bolt right here, you tighten it, and the belt goes to the, that way. You loosen it just a little bit, and the belt comes back this way. And then that way you can uh, adjust your tension on it. This thing is really great. I love it. It's got a lot of power. And, uh, of course, I got a 24 grit belt on here, and that belt is way too aggressive. Uh, but anyhow, I would like for you guys to like and subscribe if you like this video. I appreciate it. I'll try to make some more videos. If you have any questions about any measurement on this, feel free to hit me up in the comments section below, and uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, respond to you uh, in, a, in a quick time period. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you build one of these, I think you're going to love it because these things are really nice and they're very powerful and they're inexpensive to build. Thank you and have a great day.